What's going on, A-Push peeps? We got a good one for you today. Continuing with the A-Push curriculum, video number two, European Exploration and the Colombian Exchange. This matches up with Key Concept 1.2, Roman numeral 1, letters A through C. Before we begin, you know what time it is. It is shout-out time. If you want to shout-out to your class, please leave a comment in the descriptions and make sure you mention it is for A-Push. Today's shout out is to Mr. Sawyer's class in Massachusetts. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Best of luck. You will do great in May. So let's jump over to reasons for European exploration. I want you to think of the three G's. You've been taught this gold, glory, and God. And there was a desire to search for new resources of wealth, specifically gold and silver. This is why European countries are exploring. They want gold and silver. There's also economic and military competition, especially after the English defeat of the Spanish Armada. The English defeated this massive Spanish Navy and England became a naval powerhouse. In addition, there's a desire to spread Christianity. This is a major goal of the Spanish. They want to spread Catholicism and they did so by establishing what's known as mission systems. And these were outposts throughout the Americas in the Southwest present day America and Mexico to help convert natives and here's a picture of one of these mission outposts jumping over to the colombian exchange this is a spread of crops diseases people and ideas between the new world and the old world and it's important to know what were some goods that were introduced to europe from the americas first thing we have are potatoes and what we talked about last video maize and this will lead to an increase in European population because a lot of people are eating potatoes Ooh, not this potato a blight yeah that one's better it's got some butter on it so those two crops will play an instrumental role in increasing European population because there is a surplus of food some new introductions to the Americas from Europe you should be familiar with include horses and guns these two things will revolutionize life for native americans and also diseases which will drastically decrease native american populations in some areas as much as 90 percent native american population decreases by and especially due to things like measles and smallpox there's an influx of gold for spain they hit it big and acquire a lot of gold and this helped transform europe from feudalism to capitalism, a theme we'll be talking about in the next coming videos when Europe becomes more economically prosperous. Okay, we have an increase in international trade, in part due to things like maritime technologies. Examples of this include the sextant, pictured here, which could be used to find the exact position on Earth. This led to more precise sailing. And then the caravel is invented with Latin sails which allows for faster travel faster ships that make traveling from europe to the americas at a faster rate joint stock companies are created by the dutch in particular and they are used to raise money for explorations people will pool their money together and they'll share in the profits and losses of various colonies we'll talk about that when we get to the english colonies in a couple of videos all right, let's do a quick recap. What were the three reasons for European exploration? Yeah, you know, you little genius, it's the three Gs. How did the Colombian exchange impact Europe? Definitely know that, that could be a great short answer question with how did the Colombian exchange impact the Americas? And how did maritime technology improve and lead to European exploration? And finally, what was a joint stock company? All right, guys, look forward to seeing you back here for video number three. We're going to focus on Spanish exploration and colonization. Look forward to seeing you back then. Thanks for watching. Best of luck throughout the year and have a good day.